In order to work out the position of the swivel bike hook on the wall, we first need to place your bike and the swivel hook flat on the ground and measure the distances away from the wall, as this will be the height that your bike hangs off the ground and the distance from the wall to the top screw hole of the swivel bike hook when it's attached to the wall. Once we have these two distances, we can then measure and mark them on the wall where the bike will hang. To start with, place your bike flat on the ground and measure 20 centimeters from the wall to the back tire. Next, place the swivel bike hook on the ground next to the front wheel in the center of it and measure the distance from the wall to the top screw hole in the bike swivel mount. Using a stud finder on the wall, you plan to place your bike. Locate the position of the wooden stud behind the drywall and mark where the stud runs. Now proceed to measure the same distance from the wall to the position of the top screw hole of the swivel bike hook that you did in step one and mark this position with a pencil on the wall. This will be where the top screw will be. Next, using a level, place it against the swivel hook to ensure the hook is straight. Then proceed to mark with a pencil the two screw holes in the swivel bike hook. These holes should be in line with the wooden stud behind the drywall you located with the stud finder. Next, we need to drill the holes for the screws. Please note, if attaching the swivel bike mount to wooden studs, you need to drill holes using a drill bit that is 4.5 mil or 3 16 inch diameter and drill the hole 55 mil or 2.2 inches deep. If attaching to concrete, use a concrete drill bit that is 10 mil or 3 8 inch diameter and drill the hole 60 mil or 2.4 inches deep. If attaching the bike hook to concrete, ensure to place the plugs marked as G in the instructions into the holes drilled. For this step, you will require a socket piece for your drill in order to drive the screws into the wooden stud or the concrete plugs. The screw will not drive in all the way unless using a socket drill bit. Using the drill and socket, proceed to attach the bike hook to the wall using the screws marked as E in the instructions. Once the hook's in place, proceed to place the plastic caps marked as D on the instructions over the screws. With the bike front wheel hanging from the bike hook, mark out the position of the back wheel stabilizer. Ensure to use a level so the stabilizer is straight. Then mark with a pencil the position of the screw holes. Now proceed to drill the holes for the screws. If attaching to a wooden stud, use a drill bit that is 3 mil or 3 25th inch diameter and drill the hole 35 mil deep. When attaching to concrete wall, use a drill bit for concrete that is 7 mil in diameter or 7 25th inch and drill the hole 45 mil deep. Next, proceed to attach the bike wheel stabilizer into position using the screws marked as F on the instructions. Now hang your bike by hooking the front wheel to the bike swivel hook and the back wheel into the stabilizer and move your bike into the desired position.